Hey, I haven't covered up my roots for six months, and I've learned a pretty cool life lesson I want to share with you. It's coming up now. Hey there, it's Sue Padgett, and you are watching The Change Guru. This is a place where we have a conversation about all things midlife, and you are watching a special edition of my gray hair adventure. I'm a coach that works with women over 40 and I'm going through all the stuff that happens in midlife in real time too. So I'm just chronicling my adventure to growing my hair out gray. I'm at six months right now and um, let me do the big reveal. I like using these hats. I know it's a little bit silly, but it's kind of fun. Okay, here we go. There's the reveal. Okay, so let me, let me zoom in here. This is where I'm at. Um, you know, um, I'm starting to get to the fun stage where I feel like I've got some wires coming out of my head. Can you, can you see them? Those short little unmanageable um, things. And um, in a weird way, I kind of feel like I've just got to um, go through it right now because I'm also battling the weather here. I'm based in Australia and it's summertime here and we have a lot of humidity and my hair, the dyed parts, the gray parts, the whatever, just it just goes completely brillo pad at this time of year. So I'm just trying to just get through this summer but um, right now I'm, it's, it's it's fine. It's just those little those little wires are kind of I'm going to have to figure out a way to deal with them. But one of the most common questions that I get and one of the things that I'm really thinking about going through this uh, gray hair adventure is the question of, you know, how do I cope with what other people think, whether it's my partner or friends or colleagues or kids, you know, how do how do I cope with other people's feelings? So, I'm going to give you two answers, a short one and a little bit of a long one, all right? So the short answer is you can use my line word for word, and that's if someone says they don't like your gray hair or, you know, I don't think it's going to look good or whatever, you can say this, okay, cool, you're entitled to your opinion and um, I think it's going to look great. End of story, okay? And if you really are committed to um, to doing the gray hair thing, you have this vision that it's going to feel good, it's going to look good for you, and you really believe it, um, your, your, um, your confidence about your decision will exceed their doubt in your head. So that's what I say, you know, um, I respect, you know, you have the right to your opinion, and I think it's going to look right. Okay, now the longer story is, the longer answer, and what I think is, which makes this a really awesome, juicy subject to go into, is that wondering what people will think when you do something that might be against the grain or against what society thinks makes us feel insecure for a good reason. One of our core needs as human beings is that we have this need to belong. We have this need to you know, be loved and to be liked and to just be a part of a tribe. So when we do something that it, you know, bucks what everybody else is doing, it you know, almost, it's almost like it's been programmed into us, so we get these kind of insecure feelings, and it's a, it's a serious, it's a real thing to feel what if people don't like me. But what is also cool is this one, is one of the times that we can practice the truth of a saying that you've probably heard for years and years and years, and that's that beautiful but tough love saying of, what you think of me is none of my business. We've heard it for so long and it's so easy to say, but to actually do it, to live it, is not that easy, is it? And this is one of those times where you can actually live it. You, if, as long as you feel good about what you're doing, that's where your focus is. It's not on what other people think. And you know, the thing about it is, as is, is challenging as it can be, and it might be a little bit of a practice, to um, block out, to put blinders on and, and not be looking, you can actually, if you can nail this, this idea of what you think of me is none of my business, you can apply it to so many different areas of, of your life. I mean, it's a good thing to look at, you know, how much do I care about what people will think when it comes to what's going on in my relationship? Or how much do I care about what other people think when it comes to the way I do my business? 
You know, so you can really look at it and ask yourself the hard question. And you know, if it comes up for you that, yeah, I am thinking a little bit too much about what other, I do care a little bit too much about what others think, it's something to work with. But what I love about the whole gray hair thing is that this gives us the opportunity to really strengthen that self-esteem muscle. You know, and if you can do that and really feel it, really feel confident in what you're doing, love what you're doing, I really believe that that shines through to the people that might not might be a little bit confused about what you're doing or might not agree with it or whatever, or they won't even matter because you feel it that deep and that strong. So it's absolutely as challenging as can feel, as unfamiliar as it can feel, this feeling of this feeling of going with that profound, tough love statement of what you think of me is none of my business is like gold for us right now. It will really, really serve us down the track. Now before I go, I've got a bonus for you. If you're feeling at all insecure about the, your looks at midlife or your self-esteem, is, I've made a video that addresses this exact issue. It's a very short, simple technique. It's admittedly a little bit strange, but it works wonders. It's something that I've been doing for years, and I think it really, really helps rewire your brain into feeling really positive about the way you look, about the person that you are at midlife. So I really recommend it. I've put a link right here in the about section of this video. So just look at my little blurb and you'll see a link and have a look at that. I know it will help you. Okay, so that's where I'm at at the six month mark. You know, for me, it's just a matter of getting through this hot, humid Aussie summer and um, figuring out a way to deal with these, these little wires coming out of my head. But other than that, I'm having, I'm having a lot of fun. I really love the adventure of it and I especially love sharing it with you. If you like these videos, please subscribe. I do them every single week. I talk about all kinds of issues that affect us at midlife. They're motivational, they're inspirational, and hopefully they'll make you look at things in a whole new way. I'd also love to hear from you. Post your comments below. What are you thinking about the gray hair thing? Are you doing it? Where are you at right now? If you've written before, post, give me an update, let me know what you're doing. If you're not into doing it or you're worried about doing it, you know, just post your post your thoughts down here. If you're on the fence, not sure, should you, should you not, post. I'd love to hear from you. Okay, that's it from me. Um, have a super, super day today, and I look forward to talking with you next time. Until then, bye for now. an awesome tip for managing those wires is just uh, whacking on a beanie. <laughs>